Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, episode 39 to 40. Due to Webtoon's policy, I did the blur 50% of each panel. So yes, cat logo is going up to cover majority or I have to take out certain parts just so Webtoons don't shut down my YouTube channel. But I do have all my reads on my Patreon page where you guys gain early access not deal with censorship and any other sort of issues. So it is on patreon.com slash CKT chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> I had a really good time tonight. I hope to see you again soon, your grace. I was worried because what people were saying about me, but the mood wasn't as bad as I had feared. And I was introduced to everyone thanks to her. I recommend you go to a small gathering until the next big banquet. You might make good friends if you attend a few. I'll inform Batch. Thank you. Now, let us, us return. My in-laws are obsessed with me. Oh. Episode 39. After that, I attended a few small gatherings. The flyers had been distributed all over the capital, so some were mom momentarily startled upon seeing me. Oh. Oh. Some seem very happy. Others are shocked and like... <laughs> But most were friendly, perhaps because they knew I'd attended the first party with Gloria. Power alone isn't, isn't enough to earn such connections with people. The Lapillians garnered their fame through war, but Gloria must have put in considerable effort to earn such a sparkling reputation. I beg your pardon? But how come His Grace isn't joining you at these parties? You'll always go to them by yourself. Well, that's because I choose gatherings to which only noble women are invited. I see. And he doesn't come home these days, so I can't talk to him to begin with. Where has he gone again? Please give these letters to the servants. Yes, Your Grace. But if I may, Your Grace, who are these letters for? You always send them to the same place, but d they don't look like party invitations, so... To my friends, regarding business. And I think we can stop sending the ointment from now on. You mean the one for Adius? Adius? Right? Such a wise decision, Your Grace. He never deserved t your care to begin with. It's such a waste of good ointment, and it worked so well. My wound healed instantly after using the one you gave me, Your Grace. Adelus Adius is too shameless to be concerned about his scar. I wouldn't have cared whether he was hurt or not, but Your Grace is such so much too kind. Is much too kind. So, there she goes again. Shall I tell the servants to have tea prepared for your bedchamber? Uh, no, no thank you. I'm headed to the study on the third floor. Oh, your grace. I know this isn't my place to say, but you've been working long into the night of, uh, night of late, even after attending those gatherings. A lot of things that, they, that she says is so, is a tongue twister for me. Like, my brain thinks she's saying one thing, but they have to reread it. And we're like, oh, wait, no, she didn't say like that. So I'm sorry for stuttering. Your eyes might grow weary if you keep reading. How about taking a stroll in the garden instead? Lady Isolette is there too, so perhaps just for a moment? What is Isolette doing out at this hour? Isolette or Isoletti? Well, she's been going there every day for a while now. After she took a stroll with you after lunch today, she's been there ever since. 
I'm gonna say Esleti. I think Esleti sounds prettier. Esleti? Oh. Perry! I take it you really like flowers. It's such a shame they lose their petals and die. Flowers will bloom again anyway. Do you like pink flowers? One night, I had a dream. A dream? I take it you saw flowers in your dreams. Oh, yes. Back then. Oh. I guess her story was very dark and sad. Oh, I see you're finishing up a stroll. She seems very out of it. I guess whatever Esleti said really did dawn on her. You don't look well. Did something happen? Your Grace, just a moment. Uh, why is it so windy out here? Uh oh. Parishati! Oh, Lady Shursha. <laughs> I, hope I, I hope I remember I said it right. I still forgot the sticky note to stick on my monitor to say her name. How nice to see you again. I wanted to say hello after the party, but my hands were rather full. The interrogation wasn't over yet. How have you been? Shursha. Fine. And what about grandmother and uncle? Are they inside? Yes, they are waiting for you, my lady. I escort them to my office. Oh, we were going to talk about what we've learned from the our investigation, Parashati. If I may, would it be all right if I joined you? What was I, that was what I was just about to say, actually. Let's go together. Okay. I wonder what caused Parashati to want to go. So something that the little girl said really did affect her. And now she wants to get involved. So, okay. I went to Master Crip's place. Gen told me everything. He's been selling Esleti's blood for a year, and he sold his blood before that, just a small amount at a time. He said he made the poison himself. And where did he sell it? He doesn't know exactly where the poison was sold to. His re reaction tells me he wasn't lying. But all the inf information of the traitors is written at the bottom of the document. Who knows how many people have died because of us. I'm at fault. We are at fault. But we must make sure nothing like this ever happens again. We must investigate when there is a circumstantial evidence, regardless of, a con of the consequences. And from now on, we should perform random inspections. I hear Parashati was the one who raised suspicions first. Thanks to you, we were able to uncover these evil deeds. Come to think of it, could you tell me how you came to know this, Parashati? Uh, I actually came to this meeting because I want to tell you something related to this case. It might take a while. My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 40. What? This is unexpected. So you believe that Isleti may have traveled back in time? I do. Isleti said she saw cherry blossoms in full bloom. 
She fell asleep while looking at the flowers, and when she woke up, she had traveled back in time before the flowers had bloomed. And then everything she experienced repeated itself. But even so, she grew up there. She may have had a dream of what she saw in the past. He's right. The child may have been confused. After all, she would have been very sick. I wouldn't believe what I had said either if, I'm, if I were them. At the time, it was more painful and terrifying than when I was coughing up blood. But it felt fine when I was looking at the flowers. So, I wanted to see them up close. <laughs> I'm glad it was just a dream. Is this for you? Actually, I... Pardon? So you also traveled back in time. I remember the day I was murdered in my past life. And the symptoms I experienced back then were identical to when I died from your family's blood. Huh? What do you mean by that? Ugh. When I woke up, I had gone back in time, about two months prior to the incident. That was when it had been long since his grace had returned to the capital. As Letty also seems to have traveled to the same period as me. Back then, I was also confused, thinking that everything may have maybe just a dream. But after certain incidents took place, I came to believe that I was right. Oh. I don't believe His Grace began the investigation just because of what I told him. He must have had another reason. The assassin, right? He was killed by a different kind of poison. But the examiner... Examiner told me that he came back to life in the middle of the autopsy. Huh? Uh, don't tell me. The assassin might have gone through the same thing as me. The curse doesn't work on me because your poison had killed me already. And it seems the curse doesn't work on people who came back to life after being killed from that the blood that was sold. As Letty and I still have the memory of the past, it's likely that the assassin did as well. And I couldn't say anything because it was just speculation. I still don't know what happened or what the time traveling has to do with the curse, but they don't seem unrelated anymore. And after hearing what Esleti has had to say, I thought it would be right to tell you, her family. What on earth is all this? So because of Esleti's blood, you had... Yes, I know it's hard to believe, but no. It's not that hard to believe, to be honest. Our curse doesn't make sense either. Rather, because of us, you've had to. Who killed you? Was it someone close? I remember what happened, so I had to escape from that place and protect myself. And that is why I suggested the one-year contractual marriage to His Grace. A, a contractual marriage? Are you saying you... We'll leave after the year is up? Uh, oh, someone drop, uh, drop all the tea. I, I beg your pardon? Your grace is going to leave? Oh, goodness. Okay, so 
not much of a huge cliffhanger, but it is pretty a good cliffhanger, okay? So now everyone in the family knows what happened. I don't think she really did spill like who was the one who tried to unalive her. Obviously, if she did, they'd be like, oh, okay, we'll keep an eye out on your your step parents, your stepmom and your stepsister. But now they know that the marriage is not real. I feel like now there's they are kind of attached to her. They're kind of close to her. They like her because she have helped out the family a lot so far. And I wonder if they would be would be okay with the thought of her just leaving after a year. Or would they try to convince her to stay? <laughs> but it's getting good. As you can tell from everyone's reaction is that they do like her. You know, if they didn't like her, they'd be like, go. We don't care. Thank goodness, you know. So it's sweet. And to see what Esleti went through and that there's a potential case that she did tra time travel as well. <sighs> like everybody else at the same period. It kind of made me sad for her. Like, she went through so much. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!